it is time to talk about comparing fractions with the same denominators. Fractions are used to represent a part of a whole. A fraction looks like this. The top number of the fraction is called the numerator. This number represents a part of the whole being represented. The denominator is the bottom number and represents the number of equal parts it takes to make the whole. Here are the fractions 1 fourth and 2 fourths. Looking at the picture, which fraction has a larger part covered? If you said 2 fourths, you are correct. When fractions have the same denominator, the fraction with the larger numerator is the greatest in size. Here are the fractions 2 sixths and 5 sixths. The denominators are the same. So the fraction with the larger denominator is the greatest fraction. This means 2 sixths is less than 5 sixths. Let me show you. Fractions can also be represented on a ruler. The blue rectangles represent one-eighth of an inch because it takes eight parts to make a whole. The purple rectangles represent fourths because it takes four parts to make the whole. The yellow rectangles represent halves because it takes two of the parts to make the whole. The purple lines on the ruler represent one-fourth of an inch. This is because the inch is split into four parts. Pizza Man traveled two-fourths of an inch. This means he is located at two purple marks from zero. Taco Man traveled three-fourths of an inch. He is located at three marks from zero. Taco Man is further along. This means two-fourths is less than three-fourths. Let's try one more. Pizza Man ran six-fourths of an inch and Taco Man ran three-fourths of an inch. Pizza Man is located six purple marks from zero. Taco Man is located three purple marks from zero. Pizza Man is further along than Taco Man. This means six-fourths is greater than three-fourths. Great work today, comparing fractions with the same denominators.